Hello, this is Dr. Alemi with a discussion of how to use WHERE and HAVING commands. The purpose of WHERE and HAVING is to filter records of data. SELECT filters fields, but WHERE filters rows of data within the same table. After the reserve word WHERE, the condition is specified. For example, we might have a table of claims called final. In it, we have a different ICD-9 codes. We want to restrict it to patients who had a claim of injury, a code with a letter E in it. The WHERE command specifies that we should have all ICD-9 codes where the letter E appears somewhere inside the code. The percentage sign is a wild card, and the codes are necessary an example of the results are provided here. Not all codes have an E. Note that all codes have an E inside them, and all other codes without the letter E are just ignored. In this statement, the condition is that the age at diagnosis should exceed 65 years. In this code, the computer is instructed to include only records where age at death is less than age at diagnosis. The data are put in the temporary file called bad data. Presumably, errors in data entry have led to some cases showing for visits after there have been a report of their death. Note that patients who have not died are also excluded. You may think that a visit from a dead patient is not possible. In rare situations, some visits occur after death. For instance, the transport of a dead patient from home to hospital may lead to a recording in, inside the electronic health record. Other scenarios can also exist where the patient has an encounter after death. These are rare and very specific to post-mortality services. The most common reason for encounters with healthcare system after death is due to error, essentially an error in entering date of death. Check the date entered against the timestamp of the computer for the entry. One of the first steps in cleaning the data is to identify patient whose date of death occurs before date of various outpatient or inpatient encounters. The group by command is one of the most important commands in SQL and allows reporting of fields values for a specific subgroup of patients or data. Here the group by command forces us to keep only one ID per person whose data are good to go. Note that we no longer can include the diagnosis field. Any field that is included must be aggregated so it shows how the field is calculated by the subgroups. Here we have included the count of the field diagnosis for each subgroup defined by the group by statement. That, that will be the, for each person. The function count is an aggregation function. It will report the number of diagnoses that each unique person has. Note that these are not necessarily distinct diagnoses. A person may have the same diagnosis multiple times. The group by command ensures that the calculations are done for each person separately, but we have not included diagnosis in the group by command, so we are not counting all diagnoses, including repeated same diagnosis. If we want to know the number of distinct diagnoses, we would need to use the qualifier distinct in the count function. To summarize, in this code, the select ID command tells the system that we are interested in finding the ID of the patients. The into command says that we should include these IDs into the temporary file called bad data. The from dot, from dbo dot data command says that we want to get this information from a permanent table called data which incidentally must include both age at death and age at diagnosis. 
the where age at death is less than age at diagnosis command says that age at death must be less than age at diagnosis. The group by says that we want to see only one value for each ID, no matter how many times the person's diagnosis occurs before death. Also note that the WHERE command will be executed before the GROUP BY command. The SELECT command is executed after the GROUP BY command. In this code, we have dropped the WHERE filter and added a HAVING command. The HAVING command is executed after the GROUP BY statement. In GROUP BY, we are saying that all the analysis should be analyzed by person. By their unique IDs. Note that now that we are examining the data by different persons, we no longer can use the fields age at death or age at diagnosis without aggregation. A person has many diagnoses and we need to clarify which one of the many codes should be used. To do so, we take the minimum value of age at death and compare it to the maximum reported age for any diagnosis. What happens for the patient who has not died? This patient will have a null value for age at death and the minimum of null value is also null. So the condition of, for the having statement cannot be verified and mistakenly these patients will be deleted from the good data file. To make sure that alive patients are included as good data, we need to change the condition to include a separate pass for patients whose age at death is null. This brief presentation showed how where and having work. Having is executed after group by statement and where before it.